Well, that is a very sad sight indeed. That is Sami Pyre's Yaris Rally 1 car. Opening stage Sunday morning, round about 5Ks in. Don't quite know what's happened yet, but quite clearly he's rolled the car. Uh, quite a violent roll, we're told. Three spins. And you can tell front of the car, the windscreen quite badly damaged. Rear spoiler's gone. It's actually not too bad. Um, they've moved the car off the road. Any, everything okay? Any, are you and Sammy okay? Uh, yeah. You're both okay? Yes. That is the most important thing. It looked like quite a big one as well. Um, Actually, it was only field. It was only field. Ah, yes. So it rolled through the field, yeah. Okay. But the car, obviously, let's have a look. Yeah, it's not, it's not going anywhere, is it? Do you know what? It looks reasonably straight. There, there must be more damage somewhere else. All four wheels look reasonably straight, <laughs> very strangely. Uh, but there must be damage underneath the car. And maybe, you know, when a car rolls, all sorts of things happen to the fluids in the engine, to the fluids in the cooling system. And, you know, quite often the team will say, no, nope, that's it, that's it. You know, that's just bodywork damage. What you don't want to do is risk any further damage to a 100,000 euro engine. Um, so no point in Sammy Pyre continuing on, I guess. He's having a look under the bonnet. Uh, yeah, desperately bad luck. It was all going so well. He was doing such a wonderful job out there. But as we've said, you know, conditions have changed every day here. It's almost like starting a new rally every morning. And, um, you know, it was quite cold. What did they have on the car? Four. What did they have, do we think, on the car? Luke? Three, three hards, too soft. Yeah, so it would have been two softs. Probably two, probably two and two. Two hards, two softs. And you know what? That in itself is a learning experience. What do you do? Do you put them on two hards on the front axle, two softs on the rear, the other way around if you were going to do that? More likely you will cross them over. But... The sensation, the driving technique needed for that, very, very different. Take a look, Elliot, at that rear left wheel. You can see a massive impact on that rear left wheel there, a big chunk out of the rim. What does that suggest? It suggests he has gone wide and hit something hard, maybe a culvert, maybe a big embedded rock somewhere. Um, you know, what did we see yesterday? Look at these fields. These fields are perfect, if you, <laughs> generally pretty perfect if things go wrong. You head into the field, you cut a bit of grass, you lose a bit of time, you find your way back on again. Uh, not, sadly, for Sammy and Eni. Uh, they have maybe touched the ditch, and you know, the front end goes into the ditch, the momentum of the car, the rear end then catches up with the front end, and it flips over. That is also a, a very real, real possibility for what happened. Let's see, though, whether we can grab a very quick word with Sammy Pyre and find out exactly what has happened here on the opening stage on Sunday morning. Sammy, it's the opening stage on a Sunday morning. We're around about five kilometres in. It's a terribly sad sight. How has the car ended up here? What happened? Well, uh, I have no idea. OK, but I think it's clear to say that we went wide on the corner, so I think, I guess it's simply a bit too fast. In, but I, I mean, I don't know why, because there was nothing really that surprising on that specific corner, so simply we went a bit wide and rolled over and have finally not even so big damage and anyway we are fine so that's the main thing uh, but yeah yeah so not so big damage so maybe we could continue but i think in our case makes makes no sense for the moment uh but yeah big shame i'm very very sorry for the team uh yeah it was going so well but this morning was a bit different you know we saw different tire choices out there this morning do you think it was something to do with the tyre choice? Have you gone crossover on the tyres? Was there something new this morning that you were just getting used to out there? Yeah, I, I had a cross, but I had the, uh, somehow understeer on the corner, but it was the soft tyre on that side. So even that doesn't make any sense, like why, why I had this understeer. So, OK, yeah. Yeah, difficult, isn't it? Um, but I suppose you know, this is all part of the learning, isn't it? You know, it's not the way you want to learn, but every young driver has little mistakes they make along the way. Uh, what, what do you think you've taken away from this event? What's the biggest learning from this event? Anyway, quite a lot, I think. Uh, it's stupid to say, but we didn't have any really like uh, mistakes before before this. So it was going going quite well. And I had the feeling that it's everything is like under control. So that's somehow a big surprise why, why it ended up uh, like this. And I think it's, it's fair to say it's bad luck because we saw four or five or six drivers yesterday with similar incidents where they've gone wide on a corner and they've gone across the field, they've cut the grass and they've come back on again. Um, just you were unfortunate. There was a ditch there that caught you, I guess. Yeah, you, you said it. It was not me. I think it was bad luck. Yeah, kind of, yeah. yeah. And anyway, even the ditch is not so deep, but it's still somehow caught us rolling. Yeah. So. 
Sam, I mean, we, we enjoyed watching you for the first three days. Uh, you looked really good. You looked remarkably comfortable. These things happen. We're looking forward to seeing you on the next event in the Rally 2 car, going for glory in Japan. We'll see you there. Yeah, well, thank you. Okay. I would like to be in, in this car. I hope this uh, wasn't the, the end for it. Uh, I hope there was still some positive about this, uh, this rally. So, but okay, Japan is the next with the rally too.